joining us right now on MA TV is Steve Williams, partner with Paul Weiss. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, if you'd start by telling us a little about your company and what you do specifically. Sure. Paul Weiss is a full service law firm. We've got uh, upwards of about 700 lawyers. Um, we are primarily based here in New York. We have offices uh, in, uh, in uh, Beijing and Hong Kong, uh, Toronto, London, uh, Washington, and Delaware. What sectors would you say that you deal with mostly? I am, uh, like many of my colleagues, I'm an M&A lawyer. I'm a generalist. I deal with uh, a number of different industries in my own practice. I do a lot of public-to-public -public mergers. I do a lot of private equity acquisitions. Um, we have a fairly large practice in both the, uh, the um, uh, activist and defense side of activist situations, and uh, I tend to do a lot of work in the asset management space. Okay, so we're going to talk about reputation a little bit now, okay? Okay. Okay. Can a company acquire its way out of a reputation hole? Probably not. So, you know, when a company is in a reputational hole for whatever reason, because it had governance issues, because it had product issues, because it's run into some sort of situation that's been hit to it, bringing in something else, unless it's going to fundamentally change the nature of the, of, of the, the acquirer, it's, it's only going to be, it's, it's not going to change the story enough. So if you were bringing in a new management team through an acquisition, if you were bringing in a new product line that was fundamentally changing your direction from something that perhaps been discredited, perhaps, but that would be an unusual sort of uh, opportunity to find. I guess working backwards, if you had to give advice to a company mm -hmm. to avoid this altogether, no. preparation is key. What would you say? Look, uh, I always say process is everything. Um, you know, uh, people get into trouble by not spending the time thinking through what's the next step going to be, how are we going to prepare ourselves for it, what are the challenges we're going to face. You know, decision makers in companies, they can get things wrong, and sometimes people get things wrong. What's not forgivable is when they don't take the steps they needed to put themselves in the best position to get things right. What about distressed companies that uh, may have poor reputational value, but then they end up getting acquired, so what's the challenge there? Look, there are a lot of people out there who look for exactly that sort of situation because they're not afraid to work through the hair, find the fundamental value, and be prepared to work through the process of improving, of solving problems, of bringing in new management, of, of working through problems in the products in order to access that inherent value that's still there. Well, thank you so much for being with us today on m and TV. My pleasure. Great insight. Appreciate it.